there are a bunch of RMD files in the root folder here. The index.rmd file is where you set the metadata of your thesis along with a bunch of output options. So you'll see that this is where you set things like the title, the name, the date, and so on. It's also where you set the, let me just make this a bit bigger. It's also where you set the bibliography path, the heading that you want the bibliography to have in the PDF output, and uh, uh, then also a bunch of outputting and formatting options, mostly for PDF, but also for the Gitbook and the Word output. Then you'll see that the other RPD files here, each supplies a chapter of your thesis. And note that the instruction chapter is a little bit special because that one has to begin with an underscore. Uh, and uh, if you don't want to understand why that is, then don't change the title of this particular file. Just in, uh, add your instruction in this file without changing the file name. The other file names you can change uh, as you wish, as long as they still sort of fit with the alphabetic merging of the of the chapters in the, the order that you, that you want them. Uh, now the bookdown.yaml file has a few different settings for things like setting which folder that you want the built thesis to be saved into. Uh, the bibliography folder here is where I like to save the bibtech file that has my bibliography. I think that it's a bit cleaner to have that in a folder rather than a separate file because I like to have a few, a few actual files as possible in the root folder. But you can do that as you wish as long as it fits with the path that you specify in the index.rmd. We also see the figures folder here, which just have the different figures that I am uh, referring to in the different chapters. So for example, we can see in chapter two here that I'm including a graphic here that lives in figures. Um, then we have the folder front and back matter. If we open that up, then we see that there's actually a few RMD files in here as well. Uh, so here's where we have the back matter as the, like the appendices. Uh, there's also an RMD file here that supplies the heading for the bibliography in the Gitbook and the word output. Uh, and then you'll see we have uh, an abstract and the acknowledgement files here. They both have to begin with an underscore uh, and they hold the text for your abstract and for your acknowledgements. And then finally, we'll see this, uh, we see this abbreviations.tech file uh, that uh, in tech format has a, um, uh, if you want uh, some abbreviations in your front matter, then you have to edit this file. Uh, what more have we got? We've got the make file. The make file actually specifies what is going to happen when you type in things like make gitbook and make word over here in the terminal or make PDF. Uh, so you can fiddle around with that one if you want to change the build options. Uh, readme.md doesn't really do anything. That just holds the readme file that shows up on the GitHub repository. Similarly for the screenshots folder, you can delete that one as long as uh, as well as the readme file. Uh, because the screenshots folder also just has screenshots that I'm featuring on the readme file on the GitHub repository. Then we've got the folder scripts and filters here that you probably don't want to worry about unless you sort of got specific customization needs. This one has two files that are used to create custom chunk options and for uh, adding uh, blue highlighting of inline corrections that you've made. You can read about how that works in chapter set four of the sample content. And then finally, we've got the templates folder here. And the templates folder is where the uh, a LaTeX file that supplies the template for the Oxford thesis lives uh, along with the class for that template and the brief version of it if you want to knit individual chapters. And there's also a CSS file here that you would use if you want to do your own custom styling of the Gitbook uh, output.